Hello, Nate Mullen, aka The Illuminator here. As promised from one of my previous videos, I told you I was gonna slow down and show you some things that we're coming out with and selling. So, I have always said probably for the last 20 some years, arguably one of the most important things you can do is a proper crimp. Whenever you're troubleshooting on a job, whenever there's issues on a job, 99.5% of the time, it's always the connection. Bad connection, a meltdown. Bad connection, loose wires generate heat, a meltdown. A bad connection introduces wicking and corrosion, failure of the system. It's always the connection. I've never been a wire nut guy. Wire nuts are problematic, and this is telling you from an electrician that's probably touched his hand with 40, 50,000 wire nuts. They're not made for low voltage wiring, they're made for stranded wire inside of a home. I am proud to tell you that I have found what I think is the best connection that I wish I would have invented, but I'll hand it to whoever did it. So basically, right, they are little tiny guys. Let me get a bigger one out here so I can show you, because we have three different sizes, small, medium, and big, and they are slick. The difference between these guys is they have on the inside, they have their they have their crimping mechanism on the inside already of the plastic sleeve. So it's not a two-step operation, it's a one-step. So, we want to be able to take our smaller wire. Let me get the medium section out right here. So we got the large, we got the medium, we got the small. Okay, now, a couple things I'm gonna teach you here. Right, so I'm not just gonna show you the product, but I'm gonna school you a little bit, I hope. All right, so one of the things you're gonna notice is our wire. This wire is custom made for me. The first thing you're gonna notice is it's brown and it's tan. The reason for that, we used to teach you to keep polarity straight. For the most part, in a lot of wiring methods, that's not important. But you come back, you had a fixture, you do troubleshooting, somebody does something, right? You can develop a short if you get the polarity backwards and mixed up. So as wire gets smaller, because of LEDs, we're using 18.2. Man, the way my eyes are, I can't see writing to writing or rib to rib. So you go color to color, brown to brown, tan to tan. Nice thing about the best wire that you can possibly buy, do you see how I strip that with my fingers? Try that with the black wire that you buy at your distributor. Now, <clears throat> the other thing that makes this wire so incredibly flexible, it's because it's 99.9% .9 pure copper and it's 100% pure virgin, plastic, no reground, so it's flexible. All right, so one of the things you wanna do is proper stripping. Now, we all know strippers are liars, so you gotta be careful. If I went to the 18 gauge, and I went to my 18 gauge wire, right, 18 gauge, and I stripped it like it says, do you see how there are shaves of wire in there? And I've cut probably four or five different strands of it out, and I did what the stripper told me. You never want to do what the stripper tells you. You got to go up a size. So I'll go up a size two or three times. I put it over, I pull up, and I rip the wire. And you can hear it almost, maybe you can almost hear it. Pull the insulation. I rip the insulation off, and I rip the insulation off. I don't cut into the integrity of the wire. You can hear it snap, pop, hopefully. All right, so the other thing I want to make sure I do when you, in any type of a connection device, you wanna make sure the wire always bottoms out at the, at the lower point, at the bottom of the, of the capsule here. So what I wanna do is, I wanna make sure that I get in rhythm and I wanna make sure that I cut my wire at hopefully the perfect length, okay? And I'll cut two at once, not a problem. We're pretending that these are two wires. Obviously I'm creating a short right here if that was the deal. And there, I have got the wire all the way dead end to the bottom, insulation in that, in that sleeve right there. And then I take the most coolest pliers in the world. See those four pinching guys right there? They're gonna come in, they're gonna pinch right into that copper. And man, look at that crimp. It hits it from four different directions in a pinch, and you're not taking that connection out. Now I did miss a step. I would have put grease into the connection before I literally crimped it. And you can use white lithium grease. I'm a big fan of silicone, dielectric silicone. Um, and of course you can use an Oxguard, which is a dielectric grease too. But these two are my favorite, nothing wrong with this. 
So any one of those combinations will work. So that really is 101 on how you crimp that and it's absolutely perfect. You can also use this tool right here, the steak on tool. And these are about 80 to hundred dollars. We sell them here at direct uh, lighting, directlol.com, or you can get them at your local supply house, electrical contractor or wherever, but we got them here. Or you can get crimp ons pretty much anywhere and these are anywhere from, you know, 20 to 40 bucks. Um, we will be selling them in packages of 100, 250, 500 or 1,000. When you buy 250 above, you will get, in the kit, you will get uh, a tube of grease. So what did I miss? Um, let me just recap real quick. If you, if you did not strip the things far enough, like I did not strip that very far, and I was trying to stick it into the deal, You'll notice that the wire is not down there. And now when I crimp it, because the insulation now is blocking it into the upper capsule right there, and it's disallowing the copper to go all the way down, that's going to be a problem in the future. So you do not want to do that. Alrighty, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for paying attention. And as always, directlol.com. Thanks a lot.